Hi guys, um, right, I'm back again, rather quickly. I finished off um, doing my wax on all my little pots, um, all my little dipping pots. Uh, that one, that one, that one, and that little one there, okay? So now I have all of my wax done, I'm going to show you how to do the glazing, um, glazing part of the Quedlitz Secca technique. Now, um, first things, the most important thing is your paintbrush. Um, if you if you have a stiff paintbrush, it's never really going to work. You need to use a very very soft paintbrush. Let's see if you can sort of see that against that so the good thing about a soft paintbrush is that it holds the glaze in so what you want is you really you want a paintbrush that's going to hold as much glaze as possible uh, because then we're going to basically we're not necessarily going to paint it on we're going to blob it on if you'd like to you know I, I i i apologize for my lack of technical terms um yes so um with glazes, you can use anything that's either a brush on glaze or a dipping glaze, spraying glaze, whichever you prefer. Um, however, it has to be a little bit more watered down than usual. Um, so I keep most of my um, glazes in jars and little labels on with what they are. So they're very good. It's really easy to keep them in jars um, for this technique as um, you can give them a good little shake before before you start. So this one I've just shaken. And uh, if you're anything like me, keep cloths and sponges close by because I tend to get it everywhere. So I'm going to give um, this a stir. Okay. You don't need to near the name of that. That's my special own little mix glaze. Um, so I'm going to give that another little stir. Okay. So what what I want to show you is before I show you how to put it on um, it has to be sort of really liquid okay so you're gonna pick the glaze up with your with your paintbrush and then you're gonna let all the excess fall out give it a little shake and then you're gonna transfer it to the plate okay now I'm gonna change the view of the camera so you can actually see what I'm talking about and you won't have to look at my face anymore so I'll be back in a second Okay guys, so hopefully this is a better view. Um, if it's not adequate, then please let me know in the comments. If the phone falls, I apologise, but I've lost my tripod uh, during some building work and um, I'm just using a piece of clay, so not the safest. Anyway, so I'm dipping my paintbrush in, I'm giving it a little shake and I'm letting it pool onto the clay. Now, I'm not spreading that too far. I'm only spreading it a little bit. So what I want to do is really make sure that that glaze is thick. And as soon as it's get, it gets a little bit dryish, then definitely don't move it anymore. So I hope you can see from the video. Um, as you can see, I keep on pooling. And when it's really thick, I can sort of move it around. Now, if a little bit goes over the, the, the black wax, now generally... Um, this will come off. However, um, if you if you if a line's really important, then you're better off trying to take that off a little bit, maybe with a little bit of tissue paper or something, just in case. Uh, but if it's a line like this, like just in the middle of a leaf, then it really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, so what you're doing is you're just pulling it on, moving it around, and trying to make sure you get it in all the little edges, though. So even here, if it does go over a little bit the line, then that really doesn't matter. Um, for some smaller areas, um, obviously use smaller brushes. So this one is a much smaller brush. Ooh, it's a little bit fuzzy. Hang on. This one's a little bit smaller than this one, and you can get even thinner ones. If you see a little area that's a little bit, it dries too quickly and it's a bit too thin, then just apply a little bit more on, making sure you stay within them lines. And that's how you get a really lovely finish. Now there's really not much to the glazing um, part of it, so I can't really tell you much else unless you have any questions. Um, as I said, you know, it's just it's quite simple. Use your paintbrush almost as a little spoon. It's almost like if you're spooning on the glaze and then just moving it around, but it has to be quite liquidy, so always water your glaze down a little bit. Give it a really good shake. 
and just make sure that you know that it's not going too thin anywhere and it just is really watery and then within about a minute i'll see that change and it will dry a little bit like this one here so now see i can touch that one and that's quite dry um i hope you can see i hope it's not too far or too close yeah so I hope that's okay it's a bit of a short video um and as i said if you do have any um comments or any questions then here we go again hello everyone um if you have any questions or comments please let me know and um i can always add to this one or make another little video okay um also another thing um i will show you this set in my next video um when it's all finished so you'll see how the glazes turn out um and also, if anybody has any questions about any sort of techniques that you'd like to know, I don't know everything in pottery, but I know a few things. Um, maybe I can do I can do another video for you with something specific. Okay, bye guys. Have a lovely day, even if it's horrific here, it's pouring down. So I'll see you later. Once again, I forgot um, to mention a couple of things, obviously. So um, often, really often. You will make little mistakes um you'll get blobs of glaze everywhere else um so i'm actually gonna just demonstrate that because i'm really not careful and i'm just gonna go up so dizzy and i'm gonna get a couple of blobs on there lovely now again i'm gonna move the camera a little bit so you see what i'm doing with my fantastic bit of clay oh hang on not very steady today okay so as you can see, I've got blobs of um, glaze on parts I don't want it. So use a knife, and just get the tip and scrape it off. Okay, it's not a very nice noise, is it? I'm, I'm using a grogged um, clay, by the way. So if I take all of that off, then if you want, you can also get a little cotton bud and you can wash wash that off a little bit. Um, I'm going to use a tiny bit of wipe. There you go. So my, there you go. That's perfect. So my, my black wax is visible again. And there's a little bit of colour on there, but that will disappear once I put the other glaze on. So if you overlap it on the black, on the, on the glaze, again, sorry, on the wax, just make sure you just rub that back a little bit and, um, easy peasy. Okay. So, um, the other thing I was going to mention to you guys quickly, uh, as I said, I'm using a grogged, um, it's actually a crank clay because I particularly like the colours, how they turn out on this clay. Um, but it's re it's much better to use a really smooth clay. Uh, your lines, your wax lines and your designs will come out much smoother, much better. Um, and also if, if you do use a grogged clay or something like that, you can always give it a little sand down so that it'll just make it a little bit easier to apply the wax and the glazes. Okay. Hopefully that's the last time I'll be back on here. Okay. See you later. Bye. No, oh, I'm back again. So one thing I did forget to tell you, uh, always something. Now, if you, I was demonstrating doing the glaze on the plate before, which is much easier uh, because obviously the plate is flat, the glaze isn't going to run anywhere. When it comes to doing it on a pot, it's slightly more tricky um, or on the side of a vase or anything. Um, so I'm going to show you now. Now, what you have to do is you have to have a little bit more patience. Um, hold your pot vase piece um, with the part that you're glazing up and try not to move it. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to apply my glaze again. I'm just pulling this. So I want my glaze to look raised. Otherwise, there won't be enough on there. Now, when you're choosing your glazes, be very careful about not choosing glazes that run too easily. We do have the wax on there to stop it from running. But if you, but there are some glazes that are very runny. So obviously, you don't use them. Um, I'm going to show you this leaf once I finished painting because I can't tip it. Um, so I'm just going to pick this up. Okay. okay. So you can see now um, my. Okay. So you can see now. I'm not too sure if it's a bit out of focus. But the um, the second leaf that I've just done. Um, 
I covered it quite well. I and I had to cover quite a bit of the wax up as well, but I'm honestly not worried about that. That will definitely show through again. Um, but I have to hold the pot a little bit like this, um, otherwise it's going to run everywhere. So now that it's dry, again after about a minute, I can put it down, and hopefully that should be okay. Like I said, just don't don't apply. You you want to apply it thick, but don't put too many coats of it on, otherwise the wax won't won't hold it in. Now, hopefully this won't be the last time. Okay, bye everyone.